Rome, the capital of Italy, is one of the most popular tourist destinations in the world. From the Colosseum to the Pantheon, let's go ahead and navigate Rome, showing you the top five things to do. The Pantheon is one of the best preserved buildings from ancient Rome, and it's a true architectural wonder. Up until 2023, the Pantheon was free to visit, but now it's just five euros to get in. You should plan on staying here half hour up until an hour and a half, depending if you're a historian or an architectural enthusiast. The Trevi Fountain is one of the most beautiful fountains in Rome. I'd recommend getting here very early in the morning, right after sunrise, because after 7.30, it is packed. Throwing a penny or a euro in the fountain is supposed to bring good luck and bring you back to Rome one day. Vatican City is the smallest country in the world, but it packs a big punch. Vatican City is free to enter and roam around St. Peter's Basilica and St. Peter's Square without spending any money. However, if you want to see the Vatican, and the Sistine Chapel, you will need to book a tour and I'll leave a link in the description below. For centuries, the Roman Forum was the center of day-to-day -day life in Rome, the site of processions, elections, the venue for public speeches, criminal trials, and gladiator matches, but also you could find street performers and local artists. Though two-thirds of the original Colosseum has been destroyed over time, the amphitheater remains a popular tourist destination as well as an iconic symbol of Rome in its long, tumultuous history. Most people don't know this, but I would highly recommend booking the Roman Underground Tour. I'll leave a link in the description below. And until next time, happy travels and keep on navigating.